how the lock lockdown has affected me. So um, I'm a senior, I graduated this year. Before spring break, it was a Wednesday, um, my parents decided that it would be best if our spring break trip got canceled, which was crazy. Um, but then the next day on Thursday in the afternoon, I was in play practice and I remember I got a text. Um, it was gonna go to all the CHA students and it said that um, we would have a half day on Friday and it was because the teachers were gonna go over like how to teach virtually in the afternoon on Friday. And so that blew my mind. I was like, how, there's no way. I don't get like how this would happen, how we would have to um, just be taught online. That just makes no sense. Like we're a private school, we can do what we want. Well, um, come to school on Friday, all the teachers were just asking us about like, do you think we're gonna come back? Do you think we're gonna graduate? And I was like, well, of course we are. Like, there's no way that we can't come back. Like, that's just, that's crazy. Um, well, I was wrong. So we ended up, um, we had all spring break off and then the next week we had all off. Um, and then the second week after spring break, we started our virtual learning on like a Wednesday. And so, which that was crazy. Um, I just remember being in my room and I was just studying and going over, like writing all sorts of papers. Um, and it was mainly focused around like my history class, English class and philosophy class. They all focused around the coronavirus and like, who do you think is behind it? And um, like, what do you think is happening and all this stuff and conspiracy stuff, whatever. And so like, what's your point of view, your point of, your perspective. And so it was just crazy to think of that and just to think of how chaotic our world is and just the chaos that comes from um, just our world. And like, I found myself um, on a lot of days just studying and writing papers. And usually I have to listen to like soundtracks or instrument, instrumental music, but I ended up listening to like worship songs and just playing um, chapters from the Bible and it would read to me um, different verses. And I was just so encouraged by that. And just to see like, he is a way maker, he is a promise keeper and he is the light in the darkness. Like that is who my God is. That was like what like put me out of my mind and just like wanted that made me want to seek the Lord through this um, because I can become so consumed by this world and just my own thoughts that you can't put your trust in anything anywhere in this world like only in Jesus and um, it made me just realize that more and more daily that I need him and that I need to um, just want to seek him and um, just want to know him more throughout this lockdown because there's a lot of people that just don't have a hope in this and um, it just really made me realize where my hope is found and that I just can't rely on myself and just my own thoughts, the world's thoughts, their, the ways that they think you can have peace and you can meditate and all this stuff, but that does not work. Jesus wants you and like, I'm not trying to just preach the gospel, but I mean, it, I don't know, it just, it really hit home to me just to, um, to go to Jesus and just to be broken and like to want, to just want him, I don't know, um, and just to want to be with him because he wants you and he doesn't want you to be just consumed by this world. And that's what I, I felt like I was just consumed a lot during this quarantine and I just stressed a lot about it because um, I didn't know how it was going to work out and how it was going to end. But I ended up graduating. It was a little different. Um, but I'm just really thankful that I just, the Lord has just pulled me to, pulled me to Him. And um, I've been able to just seek Him more and just be in a closer relationship with Him.